after a one-point victory in New Orleans last episode, we are now at the record of 8-2. and two. We're going up against a 4-5 and five Denver Broncos on primetime football. And if you missed last episode, boy, do you need to go watch it. We ended up winning 21-20 to 20 against the New Orleans Saints at home. It was a very, very competitive game. Um, it was back and forth. Uh, Derek Carr ended up having 284 yards and two touchdowns. Kirk played decent, but it was all capped off with a 45-yard run by C.J. Lewis and a Justin Jefferson game-winning touchdown. And now we will be going up against the Denver Broncos with Patrick Sertain and the gang. I really don't really know who else. Oh, Randy Gregory. That's who else is on their defense. Uh, we, we just simulate all these drills because uh, they're kind of garbage. Uh, free time, we'll go with the plus two speed, 100%. CJ needs as much speed as possible. We will go with max stamina, even though stamina is not really an issue when it comes to Madden. And lastly, we will go with plus two ag agility and max stamina. We'll go with that. And now we are ready game day against the Denver Broncos, Russell Wilson, Patrick Sertain, Justin Simmons, and the gang. Let's see if we can grab our ninth win of the season. Mile High Stadium is the location for this game. Prime time football. I'm not sure if it's Monday night or Sunday night here. But player spotlight. C.J. Lewis last week. 20 attempts. 136 yards and two touchdowns. Going up against the Broncos led by Russell Wilson and the gang. They are 4-5 and five fighting for a playoff spot. And the Vikings looking to take... A commanding lead. I don't. I think if we win this game or next week, we will clinch the division and clinch a spot in the NFL playoffs. Now this is Sunday night football here in Denver, and C.J. Lewis is trying to make a bigger name for himself on the bigger stage, but he's gonna get down with no gain there. C.J.'s already guy. He's number one right now in the MVP race, so he's already made a name for himself. But primetime football, Sunday night, it doesn't get better than that. Let's see if K.J. Osborne wide open down to the 48, 36-yard reception. What a catch. What a pass. This is going to be a good challenge for our offense. Can Kirk Cousins get back into rhythm? He didn't have a bad game last week. It was a pretty solid one. Jukin, 27 out of his shoes. But yeah, Kirk Cousins did throw a pick last week. Not great, but he did not have an awful game like he usually did. Uh, he's been throwing away the football, so that's good. C.J. Lewis is going to break free. C.J. Lewis. Oh, nearly got number 22, but a first down for C.J. Now, we've been having success on the ground. I was going to throw it, but I don't know what coverage this is. But up the middle might be good, or we're going to find a gap there. Cut it to the left, and we're going to get a solid gain of six. Second and four, and we're gonna have we're gonna put Justin Jefferson on a streaking route. We're gonna put Jefferson on a streak, see if he can get open. Justin Simmons does not play on him, but it's gonna be picked off. Kirk Cousins throws a bullet pass, and the Broncos are gonna take over on the 22. Primetime Kirk strikes again. Terrible interception for him, but we do get the ball back. Uh, Broncos do not score, so that is a positive. Just kicking to me, Kirk. I hate that. I hate that catch animation. Third and five. We haven't really gone anywhere. But, yeah, where we're going to send Mr. Justin Jefferson on a streak. Hope for the best. Kirk finds Justin Jefferson down the field. He gets caught, though. This man just doesn't have the speed here, apparently. But we do get the first down. Oh, CJ. Touchdown, Vikings. Oh, CJ Lewis with the reception. Touchdown! Oh, they fixed that celebration. That's cool. All right, that celebration was broken. What a play from C.J. Lewis and the Vikings. Kirk Cousins finds him. And T.J. Hawkinson with a great block on Patrick Sertain. And C.J. finds the end zone. And the Vikings are up 7-0. The Broncos score right back. And C.J., so far in the second half of the season, has been a big receiving threat. As he is going to get a... Oh, it would have been a big run. But they couldn't hold the block on 22. 
Kirk doesn't throw it away. Why do like why? Like why does he not throw the football away, Madden? It should be a simple, simple thing for the QB to do to throw the ball away in that situation. But they just don't. I got a block there, and guess what Kirk does? Takes the sack. Takes the sack. Now we now we got a third and thirty-one. But we might be able to run out the clock here. That's the only positive. But we were in or at least close to field goal range. And Kirk Cousins just abysmal with the football. Just awful. And they took a timeout, so never mind. Awful, awful management from Kirk Cousins. Luckily, they didn't score with those 27 seconds. But just the ball management where Kirk Cousins is so bad, dude. All those sacks could have been easily avoided if he just threw the ball away. Third and seven after a questionable Kirk Cousins pass. Well, what else is new? Um, TJ Hawkinson, I don't want you on anything, dude, but we can't, we have to put you on something. So, Kirk, just kick it to me. Just kick it to me. That's an easy first down. I got open field down to the 50. First down for CJ Lewis. Wow, they, that got blown up immediately. Bad blocking by our O-line once again. That's got to be our weakest point. Our offensive line has to be our weakest point of this offense. We're going to put Justin Jefferson on that streak route. I want to put myself on a route just in case. Um, I'll put myself on a wheel route. And Kirk, let's see. He's not going to wait for Justin Jefferson. I don't know where he threw it, but it is a completion of TJ Hawkinson. New set of downs. It also looks like Madden fixed TJ Hawkinson. So before the update, uh, his head did not fit his helmet. Or his helmet did not fit his head. And now it looks like it actually properly fits. His head is not, you know, glitching out of the helmet anymore. So that's good. About time at it. That shouldn't have been in the game to start with. But, you know, you know what game we're talking about here. You know what company we're talking about here. It's, it's Madden. Anyway, second and six. CJ Lewis looking to get a new set of downs. He's not going to. Just poor, poor effort blocking. Third and five here. Let's see if we can get a new set of downs. Because I want my drive goal of eight plus um, rushes. Right here. Kirk, right here. That's an easy... Easy first down for CJ. I need two more rushing attempts. So, I mean, if I don't score here, I'm fine with it. Even though KJ Osborne's going to be wide open, I'm fine if I don't score here. And I'm not. All right. Let's hope I can get in with this attempt. One yard line. Second and goal. We're running right at him. Running right at him. All right, yeah. Call the audible, Kirk. Touchdown. Touchdown, CJ Lewis. Second one of the day. One in the air. One on the ground. The Vikings regain the lead. As the Broncos don't score, C.J. Lewis is 49 yards away from his season goal of... Oh my god, I could have broke free there, Madden. What are we doing? 49 yards away from his season goal of 1,400 rushing yards. That would have been huge if the D-line CPU didn't always break their sh um break the against the old line. It doesn't make much sense because when you use your, your D-line, you can't get anything. Like You can't get past the old line. But when it comes to the CPU, they just shed them so easily. It's kind of super annoying. Like, look look at that. We're going nowhere now. Third down, I'm going to be honest. These plays were terrible. I'm not sending KJ Osborne on the streak. Um, KJ Osborne, you are going to be sent on a slant. We'll do this. It's probably not great, but we want Justin Jefferson wide open. Justin Jefferson wide open. New set of downs. The game started off great for CJ, has slowed down a lot here in this second half. The Broncos have kind of just figured him out, and the blocking has kind of been absolutely useless. Like, I think my last three attempts, I've gone for one yard. Third and five, we're going to audible here. We're going to have to wait for Kirk Cousins to do his little animation. There we go. There we go. No! Oh, we're going to run out of time. Like, the ball, please. Jesus Christ, that was awful, dude. Did we get the first down? We did. All right, I know I'm, I'm trying to run out clock, like I'm running true clock. But, dude, I can't get anything going on the ground. Like, they had me just completely locked up. Completely locked up. I get down third and one. We're going to let this go down to the two-minute warning. And then we'll run a play here. Two-minute warning, 14-7. to seven. We're at the four-yard line. We score here. It's over. This is a very big third down here. If we don't get it, we can kick a field goal. But... The worst, worst thing's worse is a turnover. CJ does not get it. The Broncos defense just stops CJ Lewis his entire second half. I have a feeling they're going to go for it, and they did. We scored, so that is going to be game. 
The Broncos scored. That's fine. I'm still 34 yards away. I don't break free for a 34-yard run. I know I don't. But I'm honestly going to try. I really don't care. Was not a good second half for C.J. Lewis. 25 attempts for 100 yards. Is not great. Like, yeah, there's just the blocking. They're, they're using timeouts. Uh, that was the last one, though. The blocking has just not been there for C.J. in this second half. To start the game, uh, it was phenomenal. But in this second half, it has not been great. Great run, though, by Lewis. First and 10. I don't know how many yards I am away. I, unless I, I think I, unless I, like, score a touchdown, I'm not going to get it. Which could possibly happen. Lewis breaks the, doesn't break anything, breaks free. And I activated my X Factor. It's not going to matter. But Lewis, I don't know how close I am to the goal. But what a run. Can he do it? CJ Lewis in the end zone. Touchdown. CJ Lewis may have just did it. May have eclipsed 1,400 rushing yards with that touchdown. I did not expect to score on that possession. Three touchdowns, two on the ground, one in the air. And I did it. I beat it. I, you can see it in the bottom left. By one yard, CJ Lewis gets his goal. And we defeat the Denver Broncos 28-14. to Amazing game from Lewis. There is that 29 attempts, 148 rushing yards, three total touchdowns, 87 receiving yards. Final stats, Kirk had a great game besides that pick. 13 of 15, 213 yards and two touchdowns. Wilson was abysmal, 17 of 31, 196. On the ground, CJ Lewis, 29 attempts, 149 yards, five yards per attempt, two touchdowns on the ground. Um, they got their touchdowns by Wilson and Burton on the ground. Uh, Receiving-wise, Jerry Judy led them. I led the Vikings, and Jefferson, once again, another 50-yard game. Not great, but that is going to be it for me. I believe like guys did enjoy it. Danielle Hunter had a sack and a half, and Davenport had a sack. Um, that's it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.